Samantha B loses two thirds of advertisers after profane Ivanka insult. Comedian, and I use that word very loosely, Samantha B has reportedly lost more than two thirds of her advertisers since she called the first daughter, Ivanka Trump, a frequent C asterisk asterisk T. Last week, B said on her TBS show, Full Frontal, that Ivanka Trump is a frequent C asterisk asterisk T for not opposing her father's policies on immigration and migrant children. Yes, because the people of America elected Ivanka Trump and not Donald Trump, right? Makes sense, not, but anyway, moving along. B apologised for the comments of her show on Wednesday night but did not offer a direct apology to Ivanka Trump and seemed to blame the media for focusing so much on her potty mouth. Oh, look at that. It's another rich elite who can't seem to take responsibility for her actions. According to Newsbusters, there were only six national advertisement spots on Wednesday night's show, compared to the 19 spots on the show last week, June 30th. The show was mostly filled with advertisers for other TBS and TNT shows. The remaining six national advertisers include PlayStation 4, Cascade, and upcoming movies like Ocean's 8 and New Jurassic World. Owen, Snickers, Jim Bean, and other companies that advertised on the show last week were conspicuously absent this time round. All right, um, so look at the end of the day. What's the takeaway from all this? Look, I, I must admit I don't like this. I'm going to boycott you unless you do something, this whole sort of attitude. Um, look, yeah, it's not the right that started it. It's definitely the left that started the sturdy tactic. Um, but and at the end of the day, you can't really begrudge the right for using it because the left just don't seem to lack it up when they're doing it. Um, so at the end of the day, the right has to counter it, and otherwise, they're all going to be deplatformed, and then it's just going to be full of leftists. It's it's like teaching someone a lesson using their own tactics against them. So look, yeah, I I don't really have a grudge when the conservatives or the right side start using this. Um, because they are just simply responding to what the left has done. Personally, I would like both sides to stop. I would like both sides to stop using these dirty tactics at once, and, and then people can just go through and make jokes and, and say whatever they want to say without having a fear of losing their shows. Um, but that said, obviously, the fact that she still has a show is a big concern. Roseanne lost her show for having a tweet that she did at 2 o'clock in the morning when she was on medication. Samantha B was live on TV, as far as I know, and it wasn't 2 o'clock, and as far as I know, she wasn't medicated. You, you would think that Roseanne would actually, if you believe what she says, actually has more of an excuse to keep her show than Samantha B does. But instead, Roseanne lost her show, Samantha B just lost advertisers. You know, yeah, obviously losing advertisers is bad, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, she's still got her show. There are still people that are producing her show, unlike Roseanne. So yeah, definitely a double standard very, very clearly being displayed here when it comes to these two. And is anybody surprised? Because I'll tell you now, I'm not. I, I called this when Roseanne, when Roseanne went through and was laid off and fired, or whatever you want to call it, redundant, I, and Samantha B, I was like, there is, there is going to be a double standard. Samantha B will not lose her job. And it's disgusting. And producers and companies need to start enforcing the rules equally. Otherwise, you might end up finding yourself in court for discrimination. I don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you like this whole dirty tactics that the left and right, obviously, admittedly, do use to, to go after advertisers? Do you think that both sides of the politics need to stop? I get why the right uses it. I really do, because they're in response. Maybe we can get the left to stop doing it, and then the right will stop doing it, and then people can go through. Would you like that? Would you like people to be able to go back and make jokes online? Or do you think this is just going to be the new norm? Also, let me know what your thoughts are about this double standard. Do you believe there is a double standard when it comes to Samantha B and Roseanne, for example? I know some people have made the argument that Roseanne was more racial-based. 
But at the end of the day, look, people on the left have gone through and made jokes regarding Trump looking like an orangutan too. So, you know. But hey, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below and we'll continue the discussion down there. Apart from that, guys, obviously this video has been helpful. Please smack a like if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.